Here's the house, sir. Please it you that I call. I, what else? And yet I'd be deceived, deceived. Signor Baptista may remember me. Near twenty years ago, when we were lodgers at the Pegasus. Oh, fear you not him. Sierra Biondello, hast thou done the errand, Baptista? I told him that your mother was at Venice and that you looked for her this day in Padua. Oh, here, oh, here comes Baptista. Set your countenance, sir. Signor Baptista, you are happily met. A <laughs> soft <Sir>, son. <laughs> Uh, sir, uh, by your leave, haven't come to Badua to gather in some debts. Uh, my son, uh, Lucentio, uh, made me acquainted with the weighty cause of love between your daughter and himself. Uh, I am content, in a good mother's care, uh, to have him matched. And so, if you like to please no worse than I, me shall you find ready and willing, <laughs> upon some agreement, uh, with one consent to have her so bestowed. Uh, <clears throat> Madam, uh, your shortness and plainness likes me well. The match is made, all is done, and your son shall have my daughter with my consent. No, thank you, sir. Where then do you know best that we be a fine? Such assurance tain as shall with either part's agreement stand. Oh, well, not my house, Lucentio, for you know that pitches have many ears and I have many servants in my house. Besides, old Gremio is still hawking about. We might be happily interrupted. And at my launching, and at my cue, there doth my mother lie, and there this night we shall pass the business privately and well. Ah, that likes me well. Biondello, are you home? Is Vid Bianca make ready to trade? And if you will, tell her what has happened today, that uh, Lucentio's mother is here in Padua, and how she would like to be Lucentio's wife. I pray the God she may with all my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Towards our fathers. Good Lord, how bright and goodly shines the moon. The moon? The sun? It is not moonlight now. Now by my mother's sun. And that's myself. It shall be moon or star, or what I list, or ere I journey to your father's house. Go call my horses back again, evermore crossed and crossed. Nothing but crossed. Say as he says, or we shall never go. Forward! I pray, since we have come so far, and be it moon or sun or what you please, and if you please to call it a brush candle, henceforth I vow it shall be so for me. I say it is the moon. I know it is the moon. Nay, then you lie, it is the blessed sun. <laughs> then God be blessed, it is the blessed sun. But sun it is not when you say it is not. And the moon changes even as your mind. But you shall have it named, even that it is, and so it shall be so for Katerina. Petruchio, go thy ways, the field is won. Oh. Ah, good morrow, gentle mistress, where away? If along with us, we shall be joyful of thy company. My name is called Vincentia, my dwelling Cusa. And bound I am to Padua, there to visit a son of mine, which long I have not seen. Oh, what's his name? Lucentio, gentle sir. Happily met, the happier for thy son, the sister to my wife, this gentle woman. Thy son by this hath married. Come, let me embrace with old Vincentio. Oh, but is it true, or else is it your pleasure, like pleasant travelers, to break a jest upon the company you overtake? I do assure thee, lady, so it is. Come along to see the truth hereof, for our first merriment hath made thee jealous. Well, Petruchio, thou hast put me in heart. Have to my widow, and if she be forward, thou hast taught Hortensio to be untoward. Biondello, but they may chance to need thee at home, therefore leave us. Nay, faith! I'll see the church on your back, and then come back to my master's house as soon as I can. I marvel Cambio comes not on this trial. Here's the door, this is Lucentio's house. My father's bears more towards the marketplace, thither must I, and here I leave you. You shall not choose, but drink before you go. Hey! 
They're busy within. You'd best not know. What's he that knocks as he would be down the gate? <laughs> Is Signor Lucentio within, lady? Oh, aye, madam, he's within. But not to be spoken with all. What if we bring him a hundred pound or two to make merry with all? <laughs> <laughs> Keep your hundred pound to thyself. He shall be none so long as I live. Nay, I told you, your son was well beloved in Padua. Do you hear, miss? I pray you tell, Signor Lucentio, his mother is come from Pisa, and to see her at the door to speak with him. Uh, thou liest! His mother is come from Padua, and here, looking out at the window. Art thou his mother? Aye, madam, so his father says. Come hither, crackham! What? Have you forgot me? Forgot you? No, ma'am. How can I forget you? For I've never seen you before in all my life. What? Thou liest, you notorious villain! Didst thou never see thy master's mother, Vincentia? Yes, very, ma'am. See where she looks out of the window. <laughs> it's so indeed! Uh, no! Oh, no! no! Woman by your habit, but your words show you mad. My lady, what sounds at you that I wear pearl and gold? I think my good mother I am able to maintain this. <laughs> my good mother. She is a sailmaker in Bergamo. You mistake, lady, you mistake. <laughs> Why, what do you think his name is? His name? As if I knew not his name. I have brought him up ever since he was three years old. And his name is Tronio. No. Away! Away, my ass! His name is Lucentio! Yes. He's my own dear! To know all the lads of me, Signora Vincentia! Oh, you have murdered his master! Lay hold on him! I charge you in the Duke's name! Oh, my son! My son! Tell me now, villain, where is my son, Lucentio? Oh, yonder she is, and deny her forswear, or we are all undone! Pardon, sweet mother! Pardon, dear father! Why, how hast thou offended? Where's Lucentio? Here is Lucentio, the right son unto the right Vincentia, that have by marriage made thy daughter mine, while counterfeit supposes bleared thine eye. Why tell me this? Is not this my good Cambio? Cambio is Changed into Lucentio. Love wrought these miracles. <laughs> Bianca's love made me exchange my state with Tranio while he did bear my countenance in the town. Happily, I have arrived at the last unto the wished haven of my bliss. What Tranio did myself and forced him to. Well, then pardon him, sweet father. For my sake? Didst thou marry my daughter without my goodwill? Fear not, Baptista. We will content thee. Go to. I will in to be revenged for this villainy. And I to sound the depths of this knavery. Look not pale, Bianca. Thy father will not frown. <laughs> well, my cake's dove, and I'll in amongst the rest, out of Uber Bulba, my share of the feast. Husband, let's follow to the end of this view. First kiss me, Kate, and then we will. What, in the midst of the street? What, art thou ashamed of me? No, sir, God forbid, but ashamed to kiss. Why then, let's home again. Nay, then, I will give thee a kiss. <laughs> Now I pray thee, love, stay. Is not this well? Come, my sweet Kate. Better once than never, or never too late. Mm -hmm. 